Wu Arabic Alwedo al Wu WDU is the Islamic procedure for washing parts of the body a type of ritual purification or ablution Wudu involves washing the hands mouth nostrils arms head and feet with water and is an important part of ritual purity in Islam What activities require wudu what rituals constitute it and what breaks or invalidates it are governed by fiqh Islamic jurisprudence and specifically its rules concerning hygiene Wu in other languages is Persian, Abdist or Dastianmaz Abdost or Dastnamaz Urdu, Wedo Allah LC, Wuz, IPA, Wazu, Turkish, Abidist, Albanian, Abidist, Bengali, Ayu Oju, Silheti, Ozu, Indonesian, Wudu, Chechen, Lamaz Akar Lamaz Ikar, Bosnian, Abidist, Kurdish, Destave, Dist Nuj Somali, Wiso. Wu is typically done in preparation for formal prayers salat and also before handling and reading the Quran. Impurifying activities that invalidate wudu include urination, defecation, flatulence, deep sleep, light bleeding, and sexual intercourse. Wu is often translated as partial ablution, as opposed to ghusl, full ablution, washing the whole body, or tayammum, dry ablution. Replacing water with sand or dust due to its scarcity, its harmful effect on the person or some other reason. Purification of the body and clothes is called tahara. <laughs> Basis in Quran and Hadith The Quran says, For God loves those who turn to him constantly and he loves those who keep themselves pure and clean. In regard to Muslims being required to be clean when handling and reading the Quran, the Quran says, Which none shall touch but those who are clean. The Islamic prophet Muhammad said that, Cleanliness is half of faith. <laughs> Water requirements Permitted water types Spring, sea or river water Water of melting snow or hail Water of a big tank or pond Well water Prohibited water types Unclean or impure water Water extracted from fruit and trees Water that has changed its color, taste and smell and has become thick because something was soaked in it Small quantity of water in which something unclean has fallen, e.g. urine, blood, stool or wine or some animal had died after falling into it Water left over after drinking by haram animals e.g. pigs or predatory animals Used water of wu or gusel according to the opinion of the Hanbali school Topic. Acts of wudu There are four fard obligatory acts. If one of these acts is omitted, it must be returned to and then the succeeding acts completed. There are other acts that are performed during wu coming from the sunnah of Islamic prophet Muhammad and Sunni Islamic scholars and the detailed acts of the wu can be classed into three types. Farid according to Sunni Muslims According to Sunni Muslims, the Quranic mandate for wu comes in the sixth ayat of Surah 5. The ayat has been translated by Muhammad Musan Khan, Rashad Khalifa, Abdullah Yusuf Ali, Pikthal and Maulana Muhammad Ali as follows. Note that these scholars' translation refer to washing the feet. O ye who believe, when ye prepare for prayer, wash your faces, and your hands and arms to the elbows, rub your heads with water, and wash your feet to the ankles. If ye are in a state of ceremonial impurity, bathe your whole body. But if ye are ill, or on a journey, or one of you cometh from offices of nature, or ye have been in contact with women, and ye find no water, then take for yourselves clean sand or earth, and rub there with your faces and hands. Allah doth not wish to place you in a difficulty, but to make you clean, and to complete his favor to you, that ye may be grateful. Washing the face thrice. Washing both the arms including the elbows thrice. Performing masa of one-fourth of the head. Washing both the feet once up to and including the ankles. It's not sufficient for one to pass wet hand over the feet or shoes. 
Under certain conditions masa can be done over leather socks known as cuffs, narrated by Abd Allah ibn Amr. Less than pre greater than slash pre greater than dot 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 we were just passing wet hands over our feet not washing them thoroughly so he addressed us in a loud voice saying twice or thrice save your heels from the fire narrated by Ubaid ibn Jarai dot and he used to perform ablution while wearing the shoes i.e. wash his feet and then put on the shoes narrated by Yahya al Mazini. Can you show me how Allah's apostle used to perform ablution? and washed his feet up to the ankles. Narrated by Amr. and then he washed his feet up to the ankles. Narrated by Humran. and washed his feet up to the ankles. Narrated by Amr bin Yahya. Dot and washed his feet up to the ankles. Narrated by Abdullah bin Zaid. Dot and washed his feet up to the ankles. Topic: <laughs> Farid according to Shia Muslims. According to Shia Muslims, the Quranic mandate for wu comes in the sixth ayat of Surah 5. The ayat has been translated by Muhammad Habib Shakir as follows. Note this scholar's translation refers to wiping the feet. O ye who believe, when ye prepare for prayer, wash your faces, and your hands and arms to the elbows, rub your heads with water, and your feet to the ankles. If ye are in a state of ceremonial impurity, bathe your whole body. But if ye are ill, or on a journey, or one of you cometh from offices of nature, or ye have been in contact with women, and ye find no water, then take for yourselves clean sand or earth, and rub there with your faces and hands. Allah doth not wish to place you in a difficulty, but to make you clean, and to complete his favor to you, that ye may be grateful. Washing the face once or twice with your right hand. Washing both the arms including the elbows once or twice left hand wash the right arm and then right hand washes the left arm. Wiping one-fourth of the head with the water left on your right hand. Wiping both the feet once up to and including the ankles once with the water remaining on both hands right hand, right foot, left hand, left foot. <laughs> Mustahabat recommended acts. A handful of mustahab recommended acts that are considered to make the woo better. If one of these acts is omitted, the wu is still considered valid. Reciting the Shahada after the ablution. During wu one should not engage in worldly talk. Choosing a clean place for ablution. Not wasting water in ablution. Starting from the right side and then the left. Topic. Contentions Muslims who are unable to perform the prevailing form of ablution, due to skin disease, a disability or lack of clean water, etc. are recommended to perform tayammum, sometimes called dry ablution, using sand or dust instead of water. Such an alternative form of ritual purity may also be accepted in cases where one fears the acquisition of hypothermia in cold weather. Topic. Performance. Topic. According to Sunni Muslims Sunni Muslims perform the following Start by making niya intention to perform wu and cleanse the self of impurities. Recite Bismillah. Wash the right hand up to the wrist and between the fingers three times, then similarly for the left hand. Next, rinse the mouth and spit out the water three times and rub the teeth with a miswak. If a miswak is not available then one should use the finger. Some water should be taken in the right hand and sniffed into the nostrils thrice and then blown out. The left hand should be used for cleaning the nose. Wash the face from the hairline on the forehead to where facial hair begins and ear to ear. This is to be performed three times. Wash the entire right arm, including the hand, up to and including the elbow three times, then the left arm three times. Pass fingers of one hand between the fingers of the other hand. 
If wearing a ring it should be moved freely to allow water to pass under it. Then perform masa. Wet hands should be passed all over the head, then the first finger of the right and left hand should be moved in the right and left ears respectively and in the same operation thumbs should be passed around the ears, then pass the backs of the hands over the hind part of the neck only. Hands should not be passed around the fore neck as it is prohibited. This is only done once. One may not make masa over a Muslim head cap. Starting with the right foot, wash both feet from the toes up to and including the ankles thrice. The little finger of the left hand should be passed between the toes of both the feet beginning from the little toe of the right foot and ending with the little toe of the left foot. Recite the Shahada. Offer two rakah prayer. Make sure all parts of body to be washed for wudu should completely be wet before the other is washed until the wudu is completed. Invalidation Theoretically, one can perform one wu for salat and this wu would be considered valid for the rest of the day. However, traditionally Muslims believe that certain acts invalidate the wu often referred to as breaking wu and losing wu, and these can be stated generically thus, although the Quran does not explain most of these. <laughs> According to Sunni Muslims Defecation or urination Odorous or audible emissions of flatulence Emission of semen gusel is required. Slow wave sleep while reclining Vomiting Loss of senses Fainting Sexual contact with another person gusel is required. Touching the private parts with the bare hands not according to Hanafi Madhab Blood or pus leaving the body so that it leaves the point of exit however if the blood or pus exits from the private parts then any amount breaks wu. Note that bleeding except from private parts does not invalidate wu according to Shafi'i Madhab. Tayammum Tayammum is a dry ablution using clean soil or dust, to be performed when water is not readily available to perform ablution or when one is defiled on janaba and could not perform ghusl, and is authorized under specific circumstances. <laughs> Wu description in Hadith Wu in Hadith Abu Huraira, in reference to the Day of Resurrection, reported that Muhammad, when asked if he would be able to recognize Muslims, said, Yes, you would have a mark which other people will not have. You would come to me with a white blaze on your foreheads and white marks on your feet because of the traces of ablution. Abu Huraira said, I have heard Prophet may peace be upon him say, In a believer adornment would reach the places where ablution reaches. Uthman ibn Affan stated that Muhammad, said, He who performed ablution well, his sins would come out from his body, even coming out from under his nails. Umar ibn al-Khattab reported that Muhammad said, No one among you does wu and does wu thoroughly, or adequately, and then testifies, There is no God but Allah alone with no partner and I testified that Muhammad is Allah's messenger, without the eight doors of the garden being opened to him so that he can enter by whichever of them he wishes. See also Sabil or Sabal, public water fountain in Islamic countries Shatarvan, a typical Ottoman fountain usually built in the yard or at the entrance of religious buildings mosques, kankas, madrasas and caravanserais Muslim hygienical jurisprudence Ritual purification Ghusl Chozuya Wajib Mustahab